ya está cerrada con tres candados y remachada la puerta negra porque tus padres están celosos que yo te quiera y que tú me quieras dile por ahí a tu padre y madre que si jamás el amor gozaron mis pan cinco a ustedes pa omene one primeramente saludos y respetos going out to everyone out there she man today i wanna put you guys up on game on something called the jailhouse snitch so primeramente look If you are not involved in this type of lifestyle, keep it that way. If you are thinking of getting involved in this type of lifestyle, please don't. But for those of you that already are, this is for you. It's educational, so por favor, pay heed and listen closely. Whenever you're out there, ch de vagabundo, tú sabes... Doing your thing, doing your koshash, eshe. You find yourself incarcerated, and you have to know your rights. First off, primeramente, if you get arrested, please do not talk to the pow pow. Even if you're gonna break, do not talk to the pow pow, because they will use that against you. It'll be leverage that they'll have against you. You ask for a lawyer. And, and be patient until they come see you. You know what I'm saying? They give you your rights. Your lawyer tells you all about your rights. Tells you what to do. And you'll be straight. It'll be the best outcome. If you have any type of action. Because some of us are straight, straight up guilty, bro. And we expect miracles. And let me tell you, let me tell you that there's ways to go in through the... um. There's ways to go in uh, as far as... um. Technicalities y todo eso. Yeah, there is. But also allow me to let you know like this, bro. It doesn't always happen like that. Pero con eso dicho y hecho. With that being said and established. I want to let you guys know of the jailhouse snitch phenomena. Some people say it's illegal. Some people say this. Some people say that. I'm going to tell you what I know. Not what people say. What I know is that I encounter a vato by the name of Chivis, well-known gang member, asking questions about well-known crimes, well-known unsolved crimes. He ended up becoming, he ended up being a CI, confidential informant for about 10 years. I ran into some guy named Block. Block, um, he had two strikes, got caught up for some, some, some drugs or something like that. And he became an informant as well. He wasn't really asking too many questions. But he was already telling on certain individuals. Y con eso dicho y hecho. Allow me to let you know like this. Watch Ahí te va. Ese. Back in 2007 and 8. I was doing tiempillo in the pinta as a violator. You know, I'll get arrested on whatever day. By the next Monday, I'll be on my way to the Pintilla over there in Huasquillo. Kern Condado. Uh, Huasco State Prison. So let me tell you, let me tell you, and let me tell you like this. One shot. Back in those days, there was a dude that used the alias Indio. Nobody could figure out where he was from, but he would allege that he was heavily connected with a certain organized group, organized crime group, and that he knew a lot of people, and uh, he would pretty much punk the little youngsters for information. They'll be coming in, and he'll be like, hey, you did, let's say allegedly there was somebody there for shooting, Then he'll be like, hey, I heard you did something that you weren't supposed to do. So you better tell me all the truth right now. And I can help you. Otherwise, 
when you get to where you're going, ya estufas. Well, guess what? He got a lot of people caught up. A lot of people. My homeboy, one of my homeboys got caught up because of this individual, you know. And uh, with that being said and established, um, I'm going to let you know like this. He got a lot of people incarcerated. He got a lot of people convicted. And I heard they paid him a substantial amount of money because he did a very good job. You see, see, he will, he will approach you and pretty much befriend you. Uh, he was like a likable guy and people will end up confiding their crimes with him and pretty much end, ending up getting a, a, a long, lengthy sentence in the prison system. Then he changed his name to Youngster. Same dude. Changed his name to Youngster. And then after that, he just disappeared from the system. So he might be in another jurisdiction. Um, And with that being said and established, be careful for people like that, bro. If you're not guilty, you don't say nothing to nobody. Nobody needs to know anything. And if you are guilty, you don't say nothing to nobody. Nobody needs to know anything. The only person that needs to know to a certain degree is your lawyer because they're going to back you up. They got to find a way to back you up. So with that being said and establecido, I say that is that is my story on the jailhouse snitches. Tu sabes, she moan. Pero washa. This also happened in Orange County. Uh... The DA was uh, pretty much solving cases like that. Si me entiendes, mendes. Like I said, like I said, like I said. Uh, I've been hearing about this since 2007, 2008. But even in the 90s, there was a couple cases. Not exactly like this, but there was already known informants, bro. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you guys just got to be careful with that because I understand that you do... A crime, you got to pay for it, bro, if you get caught. But it's not for you to go tell on yourself. It's for the cops to do their job. There's good cops that are going to do their job. And if they can figure it out on their own, feed me. Arrest me. Arrest you. You see what I'm saying? But if they need informants, bro, that's like, it defeats the purpose, homeboy. I don't understand how they could go claim victory. If they're using those type of methods, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, homeboy, there is a lot of trash, ratones, everywhere. So with that being said and established, por favor, pay attention to your surroundings. Keep your mouth shut. And if you're not involved in this type of lifestyle, por favor, keep it that way. Don't be over there trying to influence people to... You know, just because you're lonely. If you think I'm lonely now, just wait until tonight, baby. Just because you're lonely, dog. Mystery, you know, loves company, pero chalucas. Chalucas, chalucas, chalucas. Anyways, for all of you guys that are over here watching my channel, if you stayed all the way to the ending, I want to say muchísimas gracias for the support. Without all of you guys, my platform wouldn't exist. For you guys that keep it alive in the comment section, muchísimas gracias. I haven't got to learn many people's names yet, as far as memorize, because I stop and then I keep going, I stop and then I keep going. Right now, I've been going longer than a month making content. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to learn everybody's names and then I'm always going to mention top three that come to mind. But all of you guys, all of you guys, are vital to my channel. Muchísimas gracias.